EK's second anniversary live stream was amazing. I got so hyped. I, I, I literally, somebody in my comments was like, this feels like a Nintendo Direct. And that's how hype it was for me. It was as hype as a Nintendo Direct. Because let's be honest, you know, I, I like I like the big booba. I'm just saying, I can't help it. But Nikkei has such a great story in general. And I always have so much fun playing the game. So for me, it was a no brainer to be excited for the second anniversary. So we're gonna be talking about what was announced during the second anniversary of Nikkei special live stream, all that good stuff. And of course, before we get to that, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and make sure that you hit that notification bell to be notified of when the next Nikkei video comes out. And of course, don't forget to check out Gamer Subs. Use code Tystra for 10% off. Guys, I'm telling you, all the great products that come from Gamer Subs, I love shilling them. It's fantastic, right? So make sure that you're there for the next drop of Gamer Subs whenever that is it should be this week i think that there's gonna be something dropping this week i haven't gotten anything yet i can't give you guys any details just yet right i'm just saying pink get up i got from all from gamer subs baby that's how we do all right so let us talk about nikkei's second anniversary baby i am so pumped for this um yeah <laughs> it was so good let's let's get this out the way first off right so we got this we are getting a lot of pulls now i'm i'm zooming in right now for y'all but look at all these pulls that we're going to be getting 173 pulls in general plus we're going to be getting rapunzel pure grace which is the original like rapunzel from goddess squad we're getting four of those right but we're getting a little ahead of ourselves let's go and talk about how many summons we're getting we're getting 20 advanced recruit vouchers off of uh in-game you know countdowns and uh mail distribution right 15 advanced recruit vouchers when you finish the 14 day sign in 15 advanced recruit vouchers to participate in the mini game to claim so the mini game is going to be a part of the storyline that's coming out for the uh actual event 10 advanced recruit vouchers for logging into the game 15 advanced recruit vouchers for participating in the story event old tales to claim and 10 advanced recruit vouchers to be distributed on 11-4 via in-game mail. Now, for advanced recruit vouchers, these are basically the summons that you would use to get the, you know, the new pilgrim units, aka uh, Anashira or Cinderella. Um, I know that people get mad when I say Anashira instead of Cinderella, but I'm going to say it either way. Anashira, Grave, that's it. And then any future character that comes out on their own banner. Now, how many summons is this? Now, if we look at this, uh, 50 right here and about 45 right there. So almost 10 multis on advanced banners. That's huge, right? Now, of course, we're also getting 10 recruit or 15 recruit vouchers from participating in the old story. Those are just the regular ones. And then six recruit vouchers for bonuses for weekend, weekend dailies. We also got 25 recruitment opportunities uh, for the one point or two year anniversary community bonus. Um, we're also getting a free Cinderella and grave pickup pool recruitment opportunity daily 21 recruitment opportunities for each Nikkei, which means that we have a total of 42 from those singles. So you add those to, you know, my 66 and two thirds shit. No, okay. Uh, if you add the 42 to the 95 that we were talking about before, that's what I'm trying to quit max because, uh, I'm super, super fast. Uh, we got 95 plus 42. Got to calculate on the side. 137 opportunities to get Anashiro or Grave. That's huge, brother, man. We're also getting a Nikkei selection box times three, uh, which is what we were talking about. You get Pure Grace and Rapunzel automatically, but you could also get three Pure Grace Rapunzels or hmm, three of the uh snow white innocent days from last year's anniversary which is pretty freaking sick i'm just saying pretty dope right now let's go back over here this is honestly big 173 uh like types of recruitment is amazing you know and 95 of those well actually i'm sorry 137 of, of those are going to be like advanced re recruitment vouchers and such so big win from nikkei i deeply appreciate all that they do for that now, of course, we got second anniversary rewards, which are going to consist of a bunch of stuff. We got all this already. Uh, well, except for the uh, um, Rapunzel. 
but we did get some of the stuff already like uh get, i'm just saying man getting these for the um uh why am i like losing it scoobs i am so losing it for some bizarre reason man um this is basically for the synchro right the green thing and we already got two for free which is absolutely bonkers um we did get some stuff about the new event that's coming out called old tales or origin uh and we get to see this character now what i find strange right i'm gonna, I'm gonna pull this up hold on before i do that i want to make sure that nothing crazy comes up okay pina i'm pulling up pina for a good reason pina nike right now it could be that it's a mass-produced model right but I have a theory, a game theory, right? Now, if you look at Pina right here, right? Blue eyes, the hair is exactly like that. I'm just saying, it writes itself. I think that Abe is Pina after like she like I guess recuperated or something? I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell, right? Um, we might find out during uh, Origins or Old Tales. Um, but we also got introduced to the second line Grimm's models. Now, if you don't know, the Grimm's models were more of the melee combat ones. And this is the second generation where we have ha Hansel and Gretel. We have Little Mermaid. And we also have uh, Red Shoes, which I still don't understand who Red Shoes is. I know that there's like some sort of like fairy tale in regards to that. But this is they're all part of the Grimm's models for number two, right? But there's something about Abe. There's something about Abe that is co co coinciding with Pine. Whether they're the same mass-produced Nikkei model or if they're actually the same person. But we're going to get into this as well because I think it goes a little bit deeper than that. Now, as we go in, we're getting story chapters. We're getting, like, look at these new uh, kind of, not skins, but I guess skins would be the best way. Because freaking Enua's showing off some skin. God damn. I, I hate Inua, but oh my gosh, you know, but we got a little bit different designs for our uh, Nikkei friends uh, over there in Absolute. We got to see Leviathan, who is one of the four beasts, right? Alongside Behemoth. So I'm so pumped for these chapters and the story for Cinderella because my God, this looks like it's going to ramp up really freaking big. Now, of course, we're getting into the characters now we got Anna Shiro, aka Cinderella, right here. Cinderella is going to be a burst three defender, rocket launcher, electric. But what she's going to be doing is like she buffs herself, and then like with her burst skill, it allows her to take all the buffs and fire shots with the uh, glass slippers, which is pretty sick. Now, here's one thing I was super surprised about, but at the same time, adds to my theory. And I'm going to move myself over here. There is a second pilgrim that's going to be summonable, and that is. Rave. Now, remember what we just talked about? Hmm? Remember what we just talked about? Blue eyes, blonde hair in a certain pattern. I'm just saying, if, if it is just a coincidence and it is just the mass produced DK, right? I'm just saying that's a heavy coincidence. If it's not, though, oh my god, this story's about to turn upside down, in my personal opinion. But yes, we did get Grave, and I'm super stoked for this. I honestly thought how it was going to go is we were just going to get the one Pilgrim, just like we did last year with Red Hood. We were going to get, uh, obviously, Anna Shiro, and Grave would be the new unit, which is not the case. But we're going to get into that as well. Well, we kind of did, but you give it the same. So Grave is going to be a support character burst two, right? And what's really cool about her is that she's going to enhance... Uh, herself and allies with piercing attacks so she's gonna be a great burst too so for like i think in regards to verse twos regarding like the pilgrims and stuff i i don't know if she's gonna replace crown but i think she's gonna be good for just outright damage so pretty stoked on that then of course we got obviously rapunzel pure grace she's going to stay burst one defender uh she's gonna have the ability to uh fortify shields for allies uh, restore shield and enhances ally attack power. She is a free unit, so 
Don't expect her to be absolutely broken, but I do think she's going to provide a lot of good support. I don't know if she's going to be beating out leader in the slot one action, but she's still really, really good. New skins. And not only that, we're getting two gotcha skins, which suck because I don't want I don't want to deal with gotcha skins all the time. But we are getting a, a Cinderella uh, gotcha skin, which is she is gorgeous. This is princess vibes. Obviously, it's glass princess, so it makes sense. We're getting a scarlet black shadow gotcha skin, and my god damn. I'm sorry, I zoned out there for a second. She is so incredibly hot. But here's what I'm excited for because I like Isabelle's character. I like the whole Yandere thing. I'm I'm into crazy chicks, I'm just saying. But um Isabelle's getting a skin, and it's a wedding skin, honeymoon party. And uh yeah, I would love to go on a honeymoon with her. She has this idol where she brings her hand up from her, like, you know, <laughs> all the way up, and I'm like, bro, insane. And then of course my other wife. Uh, D Killer Wife, aka your forger over here. Um, yes, she's getting a skin as well, and I'm so pumped. I like these are this is like, in my opinion, the best set of skins for me because my god, they're so freaking amazing. Uh, we're getting a new minigame from the story of it, which is basically a Metroidvania type of uh side scroller, which I'm super pumped for. I I like the fact that they're willing to do so many different things in regards to these minigames. So Big, big things coming from this. I love the little demo that they showed off, so I'm I'm stoked. I'm pumped. Um, and then of course we got this. And now I want to tie this into something that I got I got into an I got one guide a little bit. I got one guide a little bit in my video where I talk about my reaction, right? And I want to talk I want to talk about why I got one guide, right? I had to get a drink of water because my uh trying to keep myself going here. Um, the reason why I got one guide is because during the live stream, and this is the one gripe I had about the live stream, it felt like a lot of the cards and a lot of the like, you know, information that they were like kind of showing off just went by really quick. You didn't have a lot of time to read what was on the screen. This was one of them. And at first I was confused. I was like, huh, 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 what? And it just passed by. I made a comment at the end of my reaction when I was able to pull this information up and found out what they were talking about because they didn't really talk about like a couple of these things. During the dev discussion, I said it would have been better to shorten the dev discussion a little bit, which when I say the dev discussion, I'm talking about when they did the Q&A, that was absolutely like just whatever. It was memes. I, I didn't like that. Um, but they could have shortened that up to talk about this. Now, somebody got was like, show your appreciation for DK. Brother, I'm a shift up fucking creator. Of course, I'm going to show appreciation for DK, but as a creator, I'm not going to do this toxic positivity bullshit where I'm just going to lie and say that everything was hunky dory. I'm going to point out flaws and there's nothing wrong with that. Doesn't mean I don't love the game. So to that user, fuck you. <laughs> but anyways, I want to talk about this really quick. So they're talking about a new bonus recruit system in ordinary recruits. What it looks to be is that you save up your um, friendship points and you're able to kind of uh, course set for these characters, right? Or any character, at least from what I could tell. Um, maybe you pick three of the ones that you're wanting and you put them right there. Now, my guess is that pilgrims are not included because we don't see a pilgrim on here. That's fine. I don't, I don't mind that. That's perfectly fine. I might be able to get my diesel done so that I can actually get her freaking favorite item story done. I, I literally have her done. She's the only one I have left, except I don't have her at three stars, but either way. Uh, we got newly launched arcade of minigames. So all the minigames that we had in the past are going to be in one arcade. I think that's cool. Uh, and they did talk about that very, very briefly. Um, new stages in Lost Sector and Tribe Towers. They didn't talk about that, but I think that's dope. Double rewards and interception and simulation room every weekend. Increase. Mm. All right, it's about bedtime for this old man. Uh, increased daily mission rewards. Didn't really talk about that during during the live stream, but very cool. Skill reset time limited event starts now. I don't entirely know what that is, but cool. And then they're adding new story events to archives. First affection and new year, new sword, which was uh, first affection was the, uh, st I think it was the story behind um, getting uh, Modernia's costume. I think I'm pretty sure. 
And then uh, New Year, New Sword was the one where we uh, talked to Scarlet during, you know, Scarlet Black Shadow. Or no, yeah, it was there now. So Outpost for Celebration, we already kind of knew. We're getting a new boss, Behemoth. So this is what Behemoth's monster form or rapture form is going to look like, which is sick. Um, I just want her to be in the liberation thing because I need her. And of course, like near the end, they start talking about a couple of the stuff that they're going to be doing. They're doing a milk tea brand collaboration uh, over in the US and Canada. Uh, they previewed a couple figures. This is one of them. The Blanc Noir looks absolutely sick. The Modernia Figma I need. I will fight every single one of y'all for a Modernia Figma. I'm telling you. Uh, Annie's Sparkling Summer uh, got announced too. We got more figures. Figma Scarlet. I didn't realize that that was a Figma, and I'm going to have to elbow somebody as well. Uh, Cinderella statue is in production, and so is a Modernia First Affection. Uh, they got Nikkei cards going to Wes Schwartz, and uh, I might just have to buy a couple booster boxes just to get these because that is... Uh, that's insane. December December 13th. So if any of you want to buy me a uh, early Christmas present or late birthday present, uh, please do. Uh, but I'm just saying that looks really, really cool. I'm so pumped for that. Uh, Nikkei Orchestral Concert is going to be happening as well, which is dope. Uh, looks like they got a couple of uh, little manga things, it looks like. So I'm pretty stoked on that. Uh, and then I'm, if I remember correctly, these might be noodle stoppers. Which is like you put them on the top of the noodle and it keeps it like hot while also having a hot ass waifu on there. So that's pretty cool. I know they did that with uni, but yeah. Overall, lots of great things were announced during this live stream. So my only gripe was that it felt like it went by really, really fast in regards to the information towards the second second anniversary. And it went really, really slow on stuff where it was like kind of, you know, not pointless. I wouldn't say it was pointless. But I would say that it's something where it's like, okay, we didn't really need to talk about this as long as it did. Like, the Q&A was a very, bit weird. But that's just my takes on it. I want to know from y'all. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought about the second anniversary live stream. Am I warranted in my one and only gripe about the live stream? Or do you guys think that I'm just being, a, you know, a big fat piss baby about it? Um... I'm not upset about it because the second anniversary live stream was probably one of the best gotcha live streams I've seen in a long time, in my personal opinion. And I, I watch a lot of gotcha live streams. So, it was y'all. That's going to be it for today's video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know how your polls are looking for, you know, Anna Shira on Grave. And that's going to be it. Love you all to death. And as always, we'll catch you in the next video. Please take care and be safe.